and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be hanging out with you guys today because first of all, I forgot to put lipstick on and we're gonna just ignore that. Um, you know what? Nobody needs lipstick in this life. Uh, my boyfriend won't let me kiss him with lipstick anyway, so we're gonna just forget that I totally forgot to put lipstick on, okay? Anyway, I'm excited to be filming this video with you guys today because this has been very interesting on my end. And whenever I put out a little like teaser on my Instagram talking about this, I got a bunch of feedback of everybody like wanting to know, is it worth it? And you've probably already seen from the title of this video, we are unboxing some Timu today. Okay, so here's the deal. I have been seeing this Timu thing all over TikTok. I've been seeing a little bit on Instagram, a little bit on YouTube, and I was intrigued, right? I think, we're, I think we're all a little intrigued. I was even more intrigued when I went on the website. I was like, um, okay, I feel like I'm seeing things on Timu, pictures of products on Timu that are the same exact picture that I'm seeing of the products that I'm looking at on Amazon, but for like a fraction of the price. And that's a little intriguing. Could be a little sketchy. We don't know. Okay, we don't know. So I was interested. Then Timo actually reached out to me and said, hey, we're gonna let you try some of these products and see what you think if you're you know, willing to show it on your channel. And I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll just try it out. And if it's worth it, I'll place another order and I'll let you guys know if you should place an order, right? So I have a ton of Timu here today. I have four different boxes, but uh, I gotta tell you, I ordered a lot of things from Timu. I was expecting like 20 boxes. <laughs> so I don't know what that means, but I guess we're gonna find out today. Um, the most important things to know about Timu, I just wanna make sure I get this right. Like I said, it's like a fraction of the price for like the same exact things that you're finding on Amazon. Site-wide sale with savings of up to 90% off. Very interesting, okay? Free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. I'm a sucker for free shipping. I hate paying shipping. <laughs> like, I think a lot of us can agree on that. $5 credit for late delivery, which I don't really know how that works because I wasn't really sure when this was gonna come. But anyway, apparently if it's late, you're gonna get $5 credit. And then price protection policy. If you order something and the price drops within 30 days, you can request a partial refund. Okay, sounds pretty great, right? But we gotta make sure that uh, it lives up to the hype. So I have a bunch of Timu things to unbox with you guys today. I ordered a ton of things because I was given a good credit and so I went all in. I'm gonna try a bunch of different things. We needed things for our new RV life, we needed things for health journey life, kitchen gadgets, things like that. Even I think a couple little things for Lulu so we're gonna find out but uh, let's go ahead and unbox what we got from Timu today and let's see is it worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the smallest box, looks like this, and uh, like I said I was um, really not sure what to expect here. I was like when I got our delivery at our last campsite I was like, is that it? Are you sure that's right? And I even actually went back a few days later. I was like, are you sure there's nothing? I like, okay. So let's see what's in this first one. All right. Shelf for suction cups. Okay, okay. So I think this is what I ordered for our shower in our RV. So just so you know, it's been a struggle and a half learning how to adjust to RV showers. <laughs> And the main problem, I am so sorry if this is super shaky. I'm still learning my film angles and you are sitting on my booth table and I feel like it's not sturdy enough. So I'm gonna try to not like touch the table while I open things. Anyway, RV shower life is a little interesting because seriously, you guys, every single time I'm in the shower in our RV without fail, if I'm doing especially a full body shower, like a full hair body, every single time I will full on drop everything on the shelves. Like everything that's on the shelves will just completely fall off and I'm ah! So I was like, okay, I need a shelf that has like a lip, you know, something to hold things in. Okay. This might do the trick, let's see. I also didn't wanna like damage the walls of our shower by putting in some sort of a shelf because you know, resale value and things like that. So this is a shower shelf with a suction cup versus a um, like actual nail or screw or whatever. This is pretty decent size and I think this is the suction cups right here. Let's double check. Yep, okay. Oh, something just fell out. What was that? I don't know. Okay, we got two little pieces right here. I don't really know what those are for. Uh, okay. So we've got two little suction cups that I think go on two little sides like this and it just like sticks to the wall of the shower. Huh, 
I mean, that's a decent size. Honestly, like I said, when I saw these packages, I was like, um, is this all of it? <laughs> so anyway, I think this is gonna work and I will stick it in my shower. I'll keep you guys updated in the vlogs to come, but I'm just gonna stick it in my shower because like I need a place, you guys, for like my razor. <laughs> I need a place for my shampoo, like things like that. And everything is falling off the shelf. So I think this is gonna work. This is pretty high quality. I mean, it's pretty thick plastic. I wasn't expecting, you know, anything crazy, but like, I think this is gonna work. Okay, so far I would call that a success. I'm gonna put this in my shower and uh, we'll report back. Okay. So that was one of the boxes. Uh, I don't know how all the other stuff is gonna fit in here, but I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, we're gonna move on to the medium-sized box. Looks like this. See what's in here. Oh my God, you guys. Okay. <laughs> I cannot believe I ordered this and it might be a total fail, but I was like, I'm doing it, okay? Here's honestly what I was most excited about for this Timu haul. You guys are never gonna believe what I just thought. And you're also never gonna believe the price that I paid for this. Okay, so if you've been a part of my channel for a while, you guys will know that as we were traveling on Adventures from A to Z from Airbnb to Airbnb, it was very hard for us to accrue things because we only had enough space in our car or our truck to carry things around. So I found a way to learn how to juice celery using nut milk bags because that was the only way I was gonna be able to make celery juice in the mornings without a juicer. <laughs> Cause I didn't have, I mean, juicers are giant and typically pretty expensive. So I was like, okay, well I'm gonna have to find an alternative way to do this. And whenever I get a house or an RV or something like that, I will get a juicer. Okay. <laughs> um, so I don't remember what I paid for this, but it was pretty ridiculously inexpensive. So I don't really know if this is going to be the best juicer you've ever seen in your life, but uh, I feel like it will do the trick considering previously I was just using nut milk bags for my celery juice in the mornings. It's a little busted up. The box is like a little busted up, but it's still like together and taped shut. And this is what it looks like. It's an electric juicer. Maybe you can see on this side better. And you literally just put the like celery right in the top here and it comes out the side here. We're gonna have to try this in the video. I'm so intrigued because I'm expecting like, I'm pretty sure my last juicer, like I think it was upwards of 150 bucks. This, not near that price. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna have to find out. I'm, I, I'm gonna open it up really quick just because I wanna see, is it like metal or is it like plastic? Cause if it's plastic, mm, I don't know if we're gonna have much life in this juicer. Juice extractor instruction manual. Okay, take out the foam. Okay, here's what we got. I cannot believe I ordered a juicer. <laughs> I was like, I guess we'll see what comes, you know? Okay, it is metal. I mean, the actual place where the juice comes out is plastic, but the actual machine is metal, which is honestly a pretty uh, good sign. I am so intrigued. I have to try this with you guys at some point soon. Oh my God, where am I gonna even put this thing? So we've got a metal base. We've got plastic over here for the rinds of the celery. And then it looks like <laughs> there's like three different like modes. This is plastic, so like, I don't know. I hope that doesn't like fall off. Um, but for the price, and if this like really works out, that's the steal of the century. I'm not even kidding you guys. Okay, so um, we got a juicer. <laughs> And I, I seriously don't even know what to think of this. All I know is it's better than I expected. And uh, we're gonna have to try it out together. Okay, so that's that. We've got a couple other pieces there. I'm gonna have to set this up and I will let you guys know how it goes. But so far, I'm intrigued. Very, very intrigued. Okay, we got two more. Two more packages here to see what we got. And these other packages kind of seem like they're like multiple things. So let me see what we're looking at here. We'll start with the smaller one first. This is the smaller package. This is, uh, honestly, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Let's open her up. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, of all the things that I was thinking these things were, cause I was like, there's, I, I don't understand how this is going to be able to be sent in all these packages. Okay. 
<laughs> Let me preface this. So if you guys are, you know, haven't seen the very last couple videos that have gone up, um, not only are we living in RV life, but we started an A to Z travel channel. And immediately when Zach and I were thinking about starting an A to Z travel channel, I was like, we can't have a travel channel, honey, without a drone, okay? You just heard that sigh. That was my puppy who is, you know, has such a rough life. We can't have a travel channel without a drone. We have to be able to do like the overviews, like shots that are, you know, of the mountains and the ocean and whatever. But drones are like really expensive, you guys. Like I got plenty of other things that I need to pay for in RV life right now other than a drone. Honestly, just on a side note, like RV life, it's like, it's so much more involved than you think it is. It's so many more components and everything takes longer. And it's such a money suck. It's such a money suck. So it's like, it gets to the point where everything takes so long and everything's so complicated and involved that by the time you get to the point of like finding a solution for something in RV life, you're like, just take my money. Just take my money. Just do it. I need this to be fixed and out of my life, right? Like that's literally how it is. So like I have tons of other things to buy right now, not a drone. And look what we got on Timu. <laughs> Okay, again, I don't have high hopes. This was really, really cheap, like ridiculously cheap. I don't even know how this is going to work, but I bought the drone that has the camera on it, which by the way, I do have a GoPro. So like whenever we do buy a bigger drone, I could just put my GoPro on it, but this is very interesting. <laughs> This is a drone for like a fraction of the price and it has a camera on it. Like literally it has a little camera that comes on the thing, which honestly, I kind of feel like this is gonna be really good for us because if we're going to like practice for a big drone and like a good drone to come, I mean, I think all of us, if you ever think about buying a drone, you're like typically a little worried about it because you're like, well, what if I drop it? <laughs> Like what if it falls in the ocean, you know what I mean? Like, so if this falls in the ocean, I'm not gonna be like too upset about it. And we'll kind of like learn how to use a drone on this versus, you know, a bigger drone that's like $1,000. Um, Comes in a carrying case, okay. Interesting, it like looks like this. And let's see if it's like actually a drone in here. I'm so intrigued. All right, open her up. Oh, wrong way. Let's go this way. It's a drone! It's a drone! We've got little propellers right here. I don't know um, how great those look because these are really flimsy. Like, really flimsy. Can you see that? But, uh, I don't know, man. If you see... <laughs> if you see some overhead shots in our travel videos to come, just know it's a Timu drone. <laughs> and it has a little camera! Right there! Okay, stay tuned. Here's the little controller. What the heck? What the heck? All right, I'm gonna have to be very, very careful with these little like wings because I feel like I'm already about to break them. But uh, there you go. You can get a drone just for cheap, just for fun and uh, practice before you buy the big thing. We got a full case right there. I will hand that to Zach. He can have fun with that and uh, see um, if it does the trick. Okay, last but not least, friends, we've got one more package this size, and it feels like a few different boxes. It feels like some fabric, I don't know. So let's see what's in here. I'm gonna just like stab it in the middle, because why not? Oh, I could already see something that I actually was really excited about getting, because like mine are looking a little sketch. Okay, all right, number one. I can't even get this out of here. This is like giant. I'm so sorry if this is super shaky. So there's two different big packs of stuff in here. One of them looks like this and it's multiple different things. So let's start from the top. All right, all right, we're on to kitchen gadgets. And like I just said, I was super pumped to get this on Timu because I literally have ordered this exact same baking utensil set from Amazon twice. I've ordered them twice. Actually, not twice, at least three times because not only do I have this set, but anytime I like do a prize in our Revive Tribe Kickstart challenges, we do challenges every month and we do prizes and it's so much fun. I've given these as a prize, like mini baking utensils for fuelings. These are a staple in my routine and I've had my personal set like for a few years now. So I was like, mine are looking a little scraggly, the wood's a little chipped, I feel like I could use some more. And when I saw these on the Team Moose, I was like, these are literally in my cart on Amazon right now, but for a fraction of the price. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they're 
doing it, you guys, uh, but I'm not gonna ask questions. Um, exact thing in my cart right now on Amazon. Mini baking utensils. And like, if you've seen my videos, you guys, you've seen these exact baking utensils. The exact things are in my cart right now because I needed to repurchase. And I've had mine for years now, like probably like two or three years. And they're starting to look a little scraggly. It was time to repurchase. I mean, what can I say? These are the exact things that are in my cart right now and the exact things that are in my drawer right now. I used it this morning for my fueling. So these are what I use to scrape the side. Oh, we just dropped something. Scrape the sides of my bowl if I'm putting like a fueling batter into a dash mini waffle maker or mini griddle. We use these a lot, the little like, I have no idea what these are called, but we use these to like actually put like sauce on chicken or like marinade or things like that. And then these two, there's a little spoon. There's two of these that I use mainly for fuelings. And then these ones have more of like a spoon so you can like get things out, but like they all come with a little ring to stay together. And I needed these. I cannot believe. I cannot believe these came and they are the exact same things that I use for a fraction of the price. I'm interested. I'm interested, Timu. I am interested. I don't know how you're doing it, but I'm gonna stop asking questions, okay? I don't know how that just happened. I don't know how that just happened, but uh, let's see what the next thing is. Okay, what the heck is this? I think that's a piece to another thing that's in here. Let's start with these. <gasps> how fun! Oh my goodness. Okay, so if you guys have been following my channel for a while too, you'll probably know that I am obsessed with making iced coffee ice. Okay, and one thing that I've learned in RV life is our fridge, freezer, doesn't have an ice maker. So thank God I've got all these like mini ice cube trays, right? Um, I just got a ton more. <laughs> and these ones are a little bit bigger, which I think is gonna be great because we need to make regular ice too. But I've got one, two, three, four, five, one's pink, four blue. No idea why that is. But I've got even more ice trays now. Like this is perfect because I wanted to be able to make iced coffee ice with my little ones and then these ones are a little bit bigger. So we could have just regular ice if we wanna just have that in water, whatever it is. I'm telling you guys, this is the exact stuff that I have repurchased from Amazon several different times and fraction of the price on Timu. I don't know how they're doing it, but I've got new ice trays for my iced coffee ice and for my regular ice. Perfect. We are set, we are set. This is so exciting. All right, what else do we got here? Everything's kind of like together, so I have to like figure out what goes to what. Is this also for ice? Yes! Okay, this is another ice mold. Okay, we're getting like really excited about the ice thing, but I gotta tell you, I did not, did not realize that I don't have an ice maker, so I need these things in my life, okay? So this ice mold is a little like jar. Let me look at the instructions. It's a little jar, it looks like this. I've seen these before, and basically what you do is you take this out of the center and you fill this with water, right? So that ice forms in all the little cubes there, and this is like rubber. You stick this in the middle, put it in the freezer, and then once they're done making ice, you can pull this out and then like crinkle, right? Crinkle all the ice out. I have never tried that, but like I've seen it done so many times and like this is gonna be so great. You guys, we needed, we needed ice. It's, uh, it's a thing out here, especially in the heat of Florida. So anyway, that's a little like ice tray too. We are good to go on ice because now we've got little mini square ice cubes and uh, then we've got our little like mini ice balls too. We're set. Uh, yeah, no idea what I paid for that, but I'm pretty sure it was like ridiculously cheap. Okay, so uh, more ice, always a good thing. All right, I think this is what I was excited for for our pantry. Okay, so another big thing, which we will have to do like a full video on this eventually, but another big thing is I'm learning how I want to organize our fuelings and whatnot in our pantry of our RV, because you know, this is like a permanent situation now, so we're gonna like make sure that we like what we're doing. So I found this on Timu. Okay, I feel like this one's a bust. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. Because it's like kind of flimsy on the sides, I can't can't really put the dividers in. Like every time I try to put them in like this and they've got little like whole grooves on the bottom. Every time I put it in, watch, it like comes out. So I think this one's kind of a bust, honestly. I really wanted this because of the fact that it had grooves and it was gonna be able to be separated so I could have like, like maybe the pink bars over here and the purple bars over here. But uh, unfortunately, I can't get these in here, but I will be able to still use this for my regular powder fuelings or my bars if I want. I just wanted to be able to separate because I could have three different compartments. Um, but 
it is what it is still gonna use but uh if you wanted the separators and you wanted to be able to separate your feelings i wouldn't i wouldn't get this one all right we got another box inside of this bag oh and another whatever this is oh my god zach's gonna die he's gonna be so excited okay so <laughs> We are such newbies to this RV life, but one thing that we have noticed all across the camper world is everybody's got lights underneath their campers. And uh, we're like, man, like, should we get lights? <laughs> And I got on Timu and I was like, honey, they have LED strip lights. Oh my God. So there's two strips of lights here and each one's 15 meters, 30 meters of lights. And we can literally just put them underneath our camper or you could put these like, Zach had a lot of these strips back in the day when we had our home studio, he would line the room with them. You could put them in your bedroom, put them in your movie room. They just look like this. And there's a little app on your phone that controls them and you can turn them to whatever color you like. You can put them just around the room or underneath your camper. Oh my God. Okay, so uh, we've got 30 meters of light strips here. I will say this smells a little weird. I mean, not like that really matters or anything, but it smells a little interesting. Um, but we do have lights. We officially have lights. Probably put them up at the next campsite because this one is flooded. Um, and uh, I don't wanna put these in water. You know what I'm saying? Um, but these will be super fun. We got lights for the camper. What is this? Do we even know what this is? I'm dropping stuff, you guys. There's so much on this table. Okay, Um, I feel like this goes with some, oh, I know what this is. I think I know what this is. There's no, there's no like, like label on the outside of these things. You have to like guess, try and figure out. What did I order? I don't know. Bust open this one. Okay, this is also a big deal. This is a toilet paper holder. Another thing that we needed in not only new home life, but also RV life. We don't have anything holding up our toilet paper right now. It's literally just sitting on the table. I know how barbaric of us. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I just feel like, honestly, I'd like to have it be a little bit more sanitary and its own little thing. This toilet paper roll holder is also like a little like stand for your phone. So you could like put your phone on top and then have the toilet roll hang underneath there. Only thing I'm worried about is it does come with screws. And like I said, I don't want to like put like screw anything permanent. I might try to see if there's a way that I can do this with like a command strip or something, but uh, still great. We really needed one of these things and uh, this will do the trick. It's metal. It's, you know, everything we needed. And these are ridiculously expensive on Amazon, just so you know, fraction of the price. Okay, so toilet paper roll holder. Again, actually really needed that. Now we've got whatever this is. Actually, did I miss? I am like literally getting confused. Did I miss something over here? Okay. I'm missing stuff. I'm literally, like there's stuff everywhere. I can't even keep track anymore. Okay, so this box was in there too. And I wanna say, oh no, it's broken. Oh man. All right, it's okay because I actually do have another straw, so it's gonna be okay. But do you guys know my iced coffee cups and my iced coffee cup addiction? Okay, so I wanted one more because I actually had to get rid of three of my four because we were traveling and there wasn't a way for us to carry them. So I got one more iced coffee cup so that I can have two and I don't have to constantly wash the one. But I love having iced coffee in these little glass jars with the wooden top. There's like a little suction so you can make sure that it's like, you know, clean and safe in there. But the straw is broken. You can hear it. It's broken. I have another straw that I think will still fit this. So I just won't have a second straw, but that's totally fine. And I think you can just do like, you know, glass straws on their own. But this is fun. I love having iced coffee in these little cups. And I I love having my iced coffee ice inside these cups. I mean, it's a whole thing, you guys. If you guys have seen my channel, this is like a must for me. I'm just sad about the straw, but it's okay. We got another glass, so all is good with the world. Okay, I can't, literally can't even try, keep track of all of this stuff anymore, you guys. What is this? What is this? I don't know what this is. We're gonna, we're gonna keep this to the side in case it goes with something over here, because I honestly, I can't even keep track anymore. Okay, what's in this box? It says, paper towel holder. Okay, another thing that we really needed for the kitchen. And again, are like ridiculously expensive on Amazon. So I was like, let's see if they have it on Timu. Here we go. This is so ridiculous. I think we actually did get everything we ordered. It just all comes in weird shaped boxes. Okay, paper towel holder. So this is the base. And then we've got all of the little things for the stand. And that looks like a process and a half to put that together. But uh, I will do that. 
probably today. Let's just make sure that the like actual things go in there. I think this is the top. This must screw in, right? Kind of. Okay. Okay. And then I think it just goes like that, right? Perfect. So we needed a place for our paper towels because they literally just sit on the counter all the time. So this is gonna go for our paper towels. This is the way to go, you guys. I'm telling you, like I did not think this was going to actually be what I ordered it to be because it came in such small packages. They just package it weird, but it's all the same stuff. I just like, anyway. They must be like massive Jenga players or massive, what is it? They must They must be really good on the Tetris side of things because they have tetris this all into a thing and it has all shown up so far. So we've got paper towel holder, good to go. Okay, and last bag of this Timu package. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is for the bathroom. We needed a rug in the bathroom. And I'll tell you what, as of right now, I am literally vacuuming our bathroom every time I take a shower because I am not about to take a shower in our RV and then immediately get outside of the shower and be covered in dirt on my feet. So we need a shower mat. Not a shower mat, but like a bathroom mat. And I think this is gonna be the right size. It was like, I was a little worried that we were gonna find not the right size bath mat, but this is actually really soft and it's got little grippies on the backside and it's gray. And that goes with everything in our bathroom. Room. This is perfect. This is just the right size and it's so soft. Oh my gosh, this is such a steal. I'm like actually really impressed. Like, I don't even know. I mean, it's not like the tip top quality everything, but like still for the price, like you can't beat it. All right, this one's for Lulu. Do we know what this is? Oh my goodness, little baby. All right, this is a chuck it. And uh, if you are a dog owner, you probably know what a chuck it is. And we have needed a chuck it for quite some time. Is there a ball for this chuck it? There's gotta be a ball, right? Or no, maybe we got the one without the ball. I can't remember. Anyway, this is the chuck it. You stick the ball in here and you chuck it, right? And my little puppy has to go to the dog park every single day in order to be satiated and it's a whole thing. So we need something to <gasps> keep her going with her energy because there is so much energy in my little baby boxer puppy. So this is the chuck it, perfect for the dog park. And uh, again, these are like 20 bucks at the store, I'm just saying. We got a chuck it, good to go for puppy life. What is this? Oh, this is for the grill, honey. This is for the grill. This is the grill outside needed a little pad, which you guys probably aren't gonna need something like this, but we definitely did for RV life. This is a little pad for underneath the grill. The way they had it advertised on Timu was you can use this, it's almost like a giant mouse pad. <laughs> It's like a giant mouse pad, but you can put this like underneath your little coffee station so that it keeps your coffee station clean. We're gonna use it under our grill, but honestly, I might use it under our coffee. We'll find out. This is just to keep the station clean and it also can like absorb if there's a little bit of drips and drops and things like that there. But uh, it honestly just feels like a giant mouse pad. <laughs> and it's black and aesthetic and it keeps everything clean. So we've got that for the grill. I cannot believe they fit everything in this bag. I am just like so shocked. Okay, another thing that we needed, a colander. I have needed a colander because I never had one. They were always inside of our Airbnbs. And I also wanted to get one that kind of like expanded like this because in RV life, you need to save space wherever you can. So this one expands perfectly so that you can still strain everything that you need to strain. But as soon as you're done, you can pop it back in and put it in a drawer. Like, look how thin that is. Perfect. We've got a colander ready to go. I Okay, Lulu's got one of the boxes. All right, this means we got to get going, guys. Okay, colander ready to go. Oh my God, so pumped for these. I'm hoping these are the right size. So you guys are going to find out in a video very soon. But um, that back there, that black box right there is our new air fryer. And I'm so pumped for it because I have missed our air fryer so much. And I was really excited to also start using air fryer like parchment liners. I wanted to make sure that there was like a way in there that we could kind of keep it clean without it like constantly having to clean the air fryer after every use because we definitely had to do that in our last one. So these air fryer wrappers literally are basically parchment paper but they're the right size and they just pop like just like parchment paper. They just look like this and you just pop them inside of the basket of your air fryer and it keeps the whole thing clean. Crazy. And then as soon as you're done cooking, you just throw this out. Amazing, amazing. And I can't find these in any stores. Like this is just an Amazon thing. You can't find these in stores. Um, so excited about those. Excited about air fryer wrappers or air fryer liners. And then we got like two more things in here. I'm gonna put this bag to the side. Lulu's getting antsy. She's trying to eat all of the packaging. This 
I mean, this would be great if you guys like like to do things in the park or whatever it is, but this is really great for us in RV life because every time we get to a campsite, there's typically a picnic table that's right outside of our RV that we can sit at, but sometimes they're a little scraggly, right? And this is a cover for the table. So literally, we can just keep this in our storage compartment and I believe it covers the seats and the top. Yes, yeah, so these cover the seats and then this covers the actual table, but they're like plastic. So that you can like really easily wipe it down but not get like splinters you know like that's like our big thing so these two go on the seats this goes on the top of the table and we're gonna like be able to sit at the picnic table outside oh my god again these go for a lot on amazon it's ridiculous okay i think we've got one last thing which is really exciting for people like me content creators because i think this is a tripod okay so this is definitely not <laughs> as big as I thought it was gonna be, but uh, that's okay. I think we'll still be able to use it. I honestly just need extras around the house because uh, it's a whole thing and a half, just constantly looking for a tripod and honestly trying to avoid using a tripod because I'm lazy like that apparently. But uh, here we go. So we've got our little tripod here. Oh good, and it's very flexible, that's perfect. And then you can literally just stick this on so your phone goes in it, right? And stick this wherever. Honestly, I've been using our tripods and like sticking them around signs and trees and stuff like perfect perfect all right I don't even know what to say about the giant stack of things I'm looking at right now all I know for sure is I guarantee you if I had bought all of this on Amazon this probably would have been close to a thousand dollars at least at least like I don't I don't even know maybe more with the drone and everything like I don't know all I know is giant savings on Timu and honestly I'm not opposed I, I'm not opposed. You're gonna have to like look at reviews. I think there are reviews on each item that you're gonna see on Timu and just kind of double check like, is this what I think it is and X, Y, and Z, but like the savings is absolutely insane. Honestly, I feel like you should just give it a shot, try it out for yourself, see if this is something that could end up being a really cheap alternative to Amazon. I'm not knocking Amazon, you guys. I'm still an Amazon addict, but if you're looking for something on Amazon, nine times out of 10, check Timu too, because they are the exact same images. Like. I don't, I don't know how that works. Okay, so here's what you gotta do if you wanna go on to the Timu trend. Okay, you can download the Timu app and I'll leave a link to that in my description box, my unique link so you can go like see everything on the site, all of that fun stuff. Um, then you're gonna get more perks and a smoother shopping experience. That's one thing with the Timu app. And you can also apply the code DEAL7946 to get 50% off your order even when you're already getting 90% off retail. I'm gonna put the code and the link and everything in my description box. You guys can go check it out. Like I said, try it for yourself. See what you think. Like I said, I wasn't sure if I was ready to get on the Timu trend, but all I'm saying is I'm looking at a mountain of stuff right now for what literally would have been thousands of dollars. Crazy. I don't know how they do it. Like I said, I'm not asking questions here, but um, this is insane. I'm gonna go put all of this stuff away, you guys, and I just wanna let you guys know, thank you for hanging out with me on this video. Stay tuned in the vlogs to come because you're probably gonna see all of this in action. I gotta try this juicer, you guys. We're gonna have to have a full video on trying the juicer because like, that seems too good to be true. Okay, excited. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video today, you guys. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel. Tick that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new videos coming to you guys every single week. And I cannot wait to continue this healthy journey with you. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.